They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? From Spain in the paralyzing purple, Lucia Martin Hurricane Rodriguez! The World Championship. It takes a dream to go for it, talent to get near it, but most of all, folks, you gotta have guts to win it. Hello, everyone, I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts. I'm here with the team of international presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off our World Championship Games, though, let's go to our referee, Moore Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Mo! Here's a look at where all of our countries stand so far. We have seen some pretty intense international competition, and with the results of today's events, a new country may head into first place. Mike? Well, you want to experience the thrill of dodgeball while skydiving and dodging, you get the chance we will have dodgeballs flying at your head from all different angles whoa while you are plummeting towards the ground let me tell you something folks no playground in the world has dodgeball like the extreme arena mo players have 60 seconds to dodge the balls thrown by the other two players the player with the most hits on opposing players wins on your mark get set all right and so as that whistle blows the balls come flying down right there that was the hawk Nailing purple, oh purple, nailing blue. Oh, another one for purple. We still got about 45 seconds left of this game. Now in this event, the things to think about, body control, toughness, and accuracy. This is one of those events in guts where our players have to combine offense and defense. And oh, again, purple coming right back at blue. Now when I talk about toughness, you got to be able to risk getting in the center, grabbing onto one of those dodgeballs, picking it up so you can nail the other players and score a point. Because remember, as each point is scored off you, you got to go and grab another one so you can take the 300 points home for first place. And so as time is running out, our players, you can see, starting to get tired out. This is a long game that takes a lot of endurance. And I have no idea what the score is. It's been complete mayhem out there. And you see the dragon caught that. That'll count as a hit at that last one. Let's go to Mo for the results. Mo. In first place was Lucia making seven hits. In second place, Chicago making six. In third place, Fernando making four. Dodge it can also be described as a minute full of mayhem with those dodgeballs coming down. You see Sh Chicago catching that, throwing it back to Lucia. She scored again by hitting him again. And as you see Chicago going for another hit, Lucia from Spain, yeah! The Senorita says, gentlemen, in Dodge it, Senorita has beat you. Let's go to Mo and check out our lead for Mo. Here it is, Mike. In first place with 300 points is Lucia from, um, from Spain. In second place, Chicago from the USA with 200 points. In third place, Fernando from Mexico with 100 points. Remember, the player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And speaking of winners, here's a player that's ready to rock. He's the madman from Mexico we call the Hawk. Hey, Fernando, Islaus, spill your guts. Hola, mi es Hi, my name is Fernando Islas from Mexico City. In my free time, I play basketball and hockey. Slam dunks are the coolest thing about basketball. Representing Mexico and competing against other countries is the best thing about Global Guts. A month ago, a friend gave me this bracelet for good luck. I hope that it helps me in this competition. Guts have been spilt, and right now the Extreme Arena has been transformed 
into a cataclysmic world for our post-nuclear race Mad Max. Our global guts athletes will be on a vehicle that is going to have them roaring down a ramp. And after they're roaring down the ramp, they're going to make a turn and jet through the junkyard. Making another turn, they will then be jamming through the jumps and then another turn as they power past Pothole Pass. Hold on to your vehicle as you make that turn because you then got to make the final turn and drive towards that dead end, destroying it and crossing the finish line and the race. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, players will race around the track, making sure to go through each obstacle. Time penalties are assessed for infractions. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Fernando all the way from Mexico. And Fernando goes into this event with only 100 points, so he needs a fantastic finish. And he has incredible speed as he's making it through Pothole Pass. Let's see if he gets tripped up. No, sir. Doesn't even go off the track. This man is flying. His nickname is The Hawk. And The Hawk has just soared through Mad Max. Yeah. Forget about a crow flying. We're talking about a hawk. Flying through that. Let's go to Mo and get the official time. Mo. Fernando clocked in at 19.6 seconds. And Chicago, the dragon, is in the vehicle and ready to go. On your mark, get set. His real name is Chicago. His nickname is the dragon. We'll see if the dragon can breathe a little fire on the score of 19.6. As the dragon went into the jumps right there, he had a slight hesitation on the pedals that I noticed. As he makes it through Pothole Pass. He's going to have to really rip through that dead end. It's going to be close here at the finish as he comes across. So our players in this event have to not only think about speed, they got to think about control. That hesitation might have hurt him. Let's get the official time from Mo. Chicago clocked in at 20.9 seconds. As we wait for our leader, Lucia, to get up there, and she'll be ripping down the ramp next. Looks to be ready right now. On your mark, get set. There are three things to think about. Quick start, speed, and control. And so as Lucia turns over the jumps right here, she has got plenty of speed. And this is where the control. She did not go off the track. She will not have a penalty. She's ripping through pothole pass. She's our leader. She's flying through the dead end. It's close, very close. Oh my, look at it. Raising her arms in jubilation. She got a little bit nervous, I'm sure, after she went over the jumps, but she maintained control. Fantastic. Let's go to Mo and find out if it's official. Mo. Lucia clocked in at 19.3 seconds, which puts her in first place, Fernando in second place, and Chicago in third place. Well, folks, he came from Mexico. His name is the Hawk. He's got his eye on a glowing piece of our Rad Rock, and he got a very quick start here. He set the pace in Mad Max. But folks, it's hurricane season. Lucia, the hurricane, going over these jumps right here. Look at her maintain her control. She comes in here in first place, and she does not want erosion to set in on her score. This Spanish phenom kicking up a gale force gust, coming back in for 300 more clams. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard now, Mo. Well, Lucia from Spain is still in the lead with 600 points and tied in second place with 300 points each. Fernando from Mexico and Chicago from the USA. All right, folks, we got to clean up the Extreme Arena because we got two more events to go. We got a perfect score on the line. We got Invisible Boat and we got Peak to Peak. You stick around. Oh, yeah, welcome back to Global Guts, the world title still up for grabs. But first, it is time to meet Oh Dragao, Ha Darkon, El Dragon. Or as we say in English, the dragon. Hey, Chicago, Dragon Townsley, spill your goods. Hello, I am Chicago Townsley from Stafford County, Virginia, and I am here to win. My favorite sports are football, basketball, track and field, and I also happen to have a secondary black belt in Taekwondo, so don't mess with me. Ah! My strategy to win is to work out, eat a good breakfast in the morning, and stay mentally focused. 
folks, it's time to get in the guts pool, but where we're going, we don't need any boats in a visible boat, because what we need is some harnesses, some paddles, three very tough kids, and we got them at Global Guts. Let's go to Mo for the rules, Mo. At the sound of my whistle, each player will paddle across the pool and back. They must touch the end of the pool to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first will be Fernando, the hawk, all the way from Mexico. And now he's in the guts pool in that harness and ripping across those rapids with the turn and pushing off. Now in this event, our players got to think about that push off and then they got to get in a rhythm, keep working in order to reach the end. They can't run out of speed. That leg strength, beautiful motion for the hawk taken to water like a pelican. Let's go to Mo and get the results. Mo. Here we go, Mike. Fernando clocked in at 21.3 seconds. Oh, yeah, Fernando. And there is Chicago in the harness. Let's we'll see what he can do in this event. On your mark, get set. All right, folks. Look at Chicago tearing through this. This man's nickname, as I've said, is the dragon. And this pool might be filled. This man breathing his fire, digging across. He's got about three seconds. He's got to make the touch with the stretch. Oh, my. With that stretch, we'll find out if that is official. Mo. Yes, Mike. Chicago clocked in at 20.3 seconds. Lucia is. She is very calm before the storm of an invisible boat. Looks like she's ready. On your mark, get set. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Lucia, her nickname is the Hurricane. And she is now in the place where many hurricanes summon their power. She's gonna have to really double it back there fast because she's got a perfect score on the line. A little athletic thunder is gonna be needed at the end. But no, she's not gonna make it. Dig it across through the pool. Looks like third place points if that's official. Let's go to Mo. Lucia clocked in at 25.2 seconds, which puts Chicago in first place, Fernando in second place, and Lucia in third place. Well, folks, in our third event, the Hawk came ready to rock, and with the turbo boost in quick start, he powered his way to a second place finish. But Chicago, it might be the second city in the USA, but Chicago the Dragon wants to be first up the crag. Look at this man's determination with the stretch, taken to task. First place, 300 beans. Let's go to Mo and check out the leaderboard. Mo. Well, Mike, Lucia from Spain is still in the lead with 700 points. In second place is Chicago from the USA with 600 points. In third place is Fernando from Mexico with 500 points. Oh, folks, we got a game and we got some global equality going on here. But right now, we're going to meet a player who proves that rain in Spain comes strictly from the hurricane. Hey, hurricane, spill your guts. I'm Lucia Martin Rodriguez and I come from Madrid, Spain. I like basketball and swimming, but I like track and field the best because they require you to be a complete athlete. The secret of a good athlete is sportsmanship, drive, and courage. This is the Good Luck Frog that's in the Cathedral of Salamanca. It gives good luck to all the kids who see it and I hope it gives me good luck at Global Guts. All right, folks, you want to feel like you're jumping across the Alps and peak to peak, you will take that leap. Our players are going to be going sky high and jumping over some radical cool ridges in our aerial mountainous assault. Check this one out. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, our players must cross the mountain range, making sure to hop on each peak. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Well, knock, knock. Here comes the hawk, and he's setting the pace. Lighting fire right here to this time clock as he goes across. This man is really looking at 300 points if he can get first place in this. Great motion, great ability. Ah, that's going to be a tough time to beat people. I've seen this game played before. This man was rocking. Let's find out the official time, Mo. Fernando clocked in at 14.9 seconds. And we will see what Chicago can do. On your mark. Get set. All right, folks, with smart moves in this event, balance, planning ahead, and lateral movement. And look at the dragon fly. This guy doesn't want to be slayed. A little hesitation on the other aerial bridge. That could hurt him. The dragon's coming. 
coming in. Oh, people. That is fast. Let's find out if it's official, Mo. Chicago clocked in at 15.9 seconds. That includes one two-second penalty for missing a peak. We'll see what Lucia can do. On your mark, get set. All right, folks, this is our leader. And the hurricane. She came from Spain to tame the extreme arena. And I tell you, she wants to return ticket back home. And she wants carry-on luggage as a piece of the rock. Oh, she got tripped up right there on that peak. Let's go to Mo and find out the official. Lucia clocked in at 22.7 seconds. That includes two two-second penalties for missed peaks, which puts Fernando in first place, Chicago in second place, and Lucia in third place. At Global Guts, our players got to absorb the shock, wear, and tear of four events and still summon the strength to climb the crag. And right here, Lucia got hung up on that peak. That was where it hurt her. We watched the dragon, though. Chicago, this man breathing fire all over these mountains, but he just missed that peak by the dippity top of his toes. He got a second place finish. And our players got some serious intensity working here today. We had an intense practice yesterday, and we had a little downtime. And during that downtime, I talked to Chicago. Here's what he had to say. Now, when you found out you were going to be one of the 12 best from the U.S., and they got, you got that phone call, you know, how stoked were you, man? Well, I was very happy, but I didn't get the phone call because I was in the hospital. You, what, what, for what? Well, I got hit in the base. I got hit in the eye with a baseball five minutes before you killed. <laughs> but you're all right now. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Let's go to Mo on the leaderboard, Mo. Mike, it's very exciting. All three of our players have 800 points a tie. That's right, folks. This is what it all comes down to. 800, three ways around. You know where they're going? The crack. That's gonna decide it. This is excitement. Mexico, Spain, and the United States. Which country's national anthem is going to rock the rafters of the Extreme Arena today? We're about to find out. All three of our players have given a maximum effort in all of our events here today. But while they get psyched to conquer the crag, let me remind you that our points, they have skyrocketed. 375 points for third place, 550 for second, and 725 points for first place. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Mike, after four events, all of our players have 800 points. We have a three-way tie. Oh, yeah. You got to love it when it goes down like this. Let's take a look at how they got there. We start off in a little dodge it, Chicago. Knocking that off of Lucia, but she took that event, and you see the Hawk making his way through Pothole Pass, coming through and knocking through the dead end, but first place points again went to Lucia as she drives over those bumps, maintained control, and rocketed her, her way to 300 more points. We go into Invisible Boat, and watch the hesitation here on the push-off. That was the Hawk trying to dig in, and the Dragon came back, and he says, no, I want first place in this event. I'm gonna take him. There he got him. And then we get into peak to peak. This is where Lucia slowed down a little bit, got hung up. And so what we have now, ladies and gentlemen, is a three-way tie. It doesn't get any better than this as we go into our super aggro crag. First, it was the aggro crag. Then it evolved into the mega crag. Now it has become the super aggro crag. And players will begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks that are ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow, protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and fury of a molten volcano that's ready to blow. You want some rules? Let's go to Mo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. 
Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. The super aggro crag is sharper, it is bigger, there are more obstacles, there are new surprises, and so now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this, our last piece of work. It is a tie score. Whoever gets to the top of the crag first goes home with the glowing piece of our awesome rock. Kick it off, Mo. On your mark, get set. Okay, folks, when you talk about competition, you can't ask for anything more. As they climb up our crag, all three of our players have the gold medal in mind. Mexico, Spain, United States, the boulders come tumbling down. Over there, up the ice wall, it looks like Mexico in blue. That's a hockey miss that actuator. No, he's going back down. He's going back up. Who's going to get to the top first? It looks like blue, then red, then purple. Chaos on the crag. Let's go to Mo. In first place on the super aggro crag, Fernando from Mexico. In second place, Chicago from the USA. In third place, Lucia from Spain. On Global Guts, they come from all around the world to climb the super aggro crag. It was anybody's game at this point, and all of our players trying to fight through our new obstacles. They were neck and neck and neck. And Fernando was at the top of the ice wall. He was told to go back down. He had missed the actuator. He turned back around, hit the actuator. The snow came dumping on top of him. And still at the top of the ice wall, firing past, locking in and first, just beating out Chicago. Let's go to Mo for our final leaderboard standings. Mo. Mike, the super aggro crag decided it again. In third place today, Lucia from Spain, 1,175 points. In second place, Chicago from the USA, 1,350 points. Our winner today, Fernando from Mexico, 1,525 points. So with 1,175 points, she won our first two events. The bronze medal will go to Lucia. All the way from Spain, taking back the bronze. She should be very proud of herself because she was right in the thick of it all the way to the super aggro crack. The silver medal will go to Chicago, the dragon. This dragon, talk about a competitor. This man was driven. He also was in it to the finish. And the gold is going to go. To Mexico's Fernando the Hawk. You're here in the Mexican national anthem because Fernando the Hawk is going to take home a glowing piece of our radical rock to show everyone back home in Mexico that he came to Global Guts and he won. And so these three players will now take a well deserved victory lap around the Extreme Arena. So the crowd can go nuts with these kids in Global Guts. Taking a listen to this crowd rocking. Sands or butts, these kids got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids.